Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomoti, and today I have a video showing you how to make these cute little apples out of polymer clay and resin. I have three varieties, a plain one, a one with a worm, and one is a caramel apple. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So to make the apple shape, I made sure I had a pin that was flat on one end, and that's so I can make the indent. So first I'm just taking some resin and I'm gonna make the apple color. So I'm adding a little bit of red pigment and mix the pigment together with the resin. And then I'm gonna pour it into this circle or sphere mold that I have. And once it's almost full, I'm putting a piece of tape just to seal it on one end. And then I'm gonna flip it over and using that little pin that I have, I'm just gonna make an indent right in the middle and I'm gonna cure that under the UV lamp. And once fully cured, I'm just gonna remove the tape off of the mold and remove the resin piece from the mold itself. And we're gonna have our little apple shaped resin pieces and I made it in three different colors, green, a dark red, and a light red. To make the little apple stem, I'm just taking some brown clay and I'm going to roll it into a cone shape and cut off the end. And for the leaf, I'm going to pinch the leaf into a diamond shape. And then using my blade, I'm just going to make indents and give it just a slight pinch and a curl. And those are the basic tips to decorate our simple apples. And here I'm just showing off my clear little resin apples one more time because they look so pretty. So next we're going to take our little baked pieces and attach it to our apples. So I put a little bit of super glue in the middle of our apple and I attach the stem onto the middle and after that I place the leaf on it and actually using UV resin over super glue is much better because you can get a faster cure. And then I just smeared a little bit of UV resin onto the front of the apple and I just spread it around. And I'm going to use that as my glue so I can put on my dot eyes and line smile. It's been a while since I gave a standard dot eyes and line smile. Next I gave the apple a layer of glaze and let that fully cure. So next we're going to make our worm. So I have two little green clays that I'm rolling into balls and putting them together. And I'm just going to roll it with my finger so I can blend the pieces together and cut off the ends. And for the worm head, I'm just having a bigger ball of green clay and I'm attaching the body onto it. And I'm just going to give it a slight curve, kind of like an S shape. And then once that's fully curved, I'm going to give the little worm some dot eyes and a line smile and then let that bake in the oven as well. And here is the worm completely baked. So I'm adding this to the dark red apple. So I'm giving um, the stem and the leaf attachment with some UV resin and let that cure. And then I'm gonna add some super glue onto the side so we can attach our little worm. Next, we're gonna make the caramel apples. So for the stick, we're gonna take some white clay and roll into a snake and then cut it at two ends. Then for like the little peanut crumbles, we're going to take some tan clay and cut it into little tiny little pieces. Just slice it and dice it. And then we want to bake it in that form as well. Then once the stick is baked and everything is baked, we're going to cut the stick into a little smaller piece just so it looks better on the apple. So I'm going to take some UV resin and place it on my apple and place the stick right in there and let that cure. Then to make the caramel, I'm going to add some UV resin along with some white dye pigment and then I added a little bit of brown until I got the nice caramel color and I was really happy with the color because I thought it looks really it looked like caramel to me so once we have our caramel color we're gonna dip our apple in there just one little layer and then let that cure under the UV lamp and then we're gonna dip it a second time in there 
but instead of curing it right away, we're gonna cover it with some of our little peanut crumbles that we had. So with our uncured caramel resin layer, we're gonna just dip it right into the little peanuts. And I just kind of shaped it around a little bit before I cured it, so it's a little bit more even. And then we're gonna dip that into the caramel one more time, just so the peanuts get a little bit coated. So it looks a little bit more realistic. And then we're gonna lay it flat on a flat surface and then cure. So when it's fully cured, it has that little caramel bottom base, which I'm super happy came out really nicely. And then I'm gonna add a layer of resin in the front so I can give it the dot eyes and the line smile. And here are the finished apples. Here is the plain apple. The apple worm. And the caramel apple. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you all for watching.